guys welcome back to my channel I'm so so glad that you decided to come back for another video today's video is going to be on my go-to warm smoky eye I've been gone for a little bit um, I had to take kind of a two-week hiatus right that's the word right hiatus yeah I don't know I had to take a little bit of a two week break because I actually did a chemical peel on my skin. So literally my face was coming off like a snake and I couldn't wear makeup for seven days. It was like the longest seven days of my life. So today's officially been eight days so I'm back behind the camera again. It felt so good to put makeup on. My skin isn't fully healed. There still is a lot of dryness and a lot of like texture on my skin. Yeah, so that's why I've been gone. But I really, really miss being behind the camera. Like I really, really love getting behind the camera, talking to whoever is out there on YouTube or Facebook or wherever you're watching this video. I really enjoy it and I really love doing makeup. So anywho, so yes, today's video is going to be on this warm, smoky eye. I added a little bit of pop of color underneath, totally optional, but I was just feeling it today. I was needing to go a little bit of bowl, a little bit of extra, because I miss putting my makeup on my face. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, just head on over and subscribe to my page. If you like my videos, totally optional, don't feel pressured, you don't gotta do anything you don't want to do, and like this video, give it a good old thumbs up. You can follow me on Instagram, it's Haley Hope Makeup underscore, and you can also follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, and it's gonna be Haley HH30. All right, without further ado, let's hop on into this video. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take the Manny MUA and Makeup Geek Cosmetics palette. I love this palette. And I'm going to take a Morphe 441 brush and we're going to pick up the shade Beaches and Cream and we're going to put that all over our crease. So we're just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions from the outer corner to the inner corner. This is going to be our transition color so it's okay if it's everywhere. We want it to be high and low because it's going to help our other colors blend better. You can also go in circular motions, just any type of motion to make sure that this color is blended nice and smooth into the lid. So after we blend on both eyes, we're going to go in and we're going to pick up the shade Sora, which is this middle color right here, and we're going to begin to put this in the crease as well. I'm using the same 441 brush from Morphe, and I'm going to keep this a little bit lower, and as you can see, I'm applying it mostly on the outer corner first, and then I take the excess product that I have and start to go in. So we want to start heavy on the outer corner because that's where we're going to have most of the colors. And then as we start to lose product on the brush, we're going to start to go in and we're going to blend back and forth. This color is really going to start to give our smoky eye some warmth and it's going to start to give it some depth. So because we're layering these colors, it's going to really look like the eye is coming forward and that it's not just one dimensional. So because I'm going to be going in with some really dark shadows here in a second, I knew there might be a little bit of fallout. So I'm taking this Morphe angled contour brush and some translucent powder and I'm just packing it on underneath my eye so that it'll catch any of the dark shadows that I'm about to use. Next I'm going to use a Morphe 433 brush and I wanted to show you the difference between the two brushes I've used so far. One's a little bit longer and fluffier and this one is going to be a little bit more compact. So I'm going to take the color Frappe and I'm going to start to add this onto the outer corner and I'm just putting it in the outer V as you can see. And once it's on the initial outer V I'm going to start to put it all in that area. Little by little, I'm just bringing it down onto my eyelid, and I'm probably going to bring it about a fourth of the way in, and so that's going to create a little bit more of that darker illusion. It begins to create more of that smoky look that we're really going for. So because this palette doesn't have a matte white in it, I went and grabbed the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette, which I just got in the mail. So excited. And I'm going to use the shade China White, and I'm just going to put this all over the lid real quick, just to kind of map up where I'm going to go in, and I'm going to put my shimmer later. It also is going to give me direction for here in just a few seconds when I take the darkest two colors and use those on my eye. So now we're going to take Mars and Aphrodite, which are the two darkest colors in the palette, and we're going to mix them together on our brush. And I'm going to take a Morphe E18 brush, and I'm going to use this to go in and to really pack this color on the outermost V. So we're just going to put this on the outermost corners of our eyes. 
Once I pack it on, I'm going to go in with an M502 brush, which is a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to use this to blend it out. So I always pack on a little bit of color and then go in and blend. And if I want to add more, as you can see here, I'll go back in and I'll add more of that dark color. But once you put on too much, you can't ever go back. So start light and build. So I'm going to go ahead and check out, see what I think about it. I decided that I wanted to bring the color in a little bit more. So just using what I have on my brush already, not adding any more extra product, I'm just going to go in a little bit more to create more of sh that shape that I'm really looking for. And then, of course, once I add some color, I'm going to go in and blend with a fluffy brush. So then you can wipe away that translucent powder because we're done with the, all the dark colors and I'm going to take the shade Luna which is this really beautiful color just on any basic applicator brush I think this is my mom's like unique brush or something <laughs> I don't even know and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put this on the lid just to give it some little shimmer a little extra pop of color I think this color is so so pretty and sometimes when you add the lid color your eyes can lose some depth so I'm just taking that brush and I'm just adding a little bit of that dark color back and then I'm going to blend it out. And the final step for the top, I'm just going to take that Sora color on the original brush that I use and I'm just going to run over everything just to make sure everything is blended really seamlessly. For any of my go-to looks, I always add a wing. So I'm going to be taking my tried and true Kat Von D tattoo liner in the shade Trooper and I'm going to be using this to draw on my wing. My wing was giving me a little bit of trouble today, but even the best makeup artists sometimes struggle with that. But one of these days I'll perfect it and I'll do a tutorial for you. <laughs> I wanted my look to have a little bit of extra color, so I'm taking Vermeer from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and just adding that to my lid. So then I'm going to take some Marc Jacobs black liner and I'm going to line my waterline on the top and bottom with this. And I'm also going to add some mascara to my lashes. This is the Urban Decay Perversion, my absolute favorite mascara. And I'm just doing a very light little bit of this because I am going to go in with false lashes in just a few minutes. So now with the Morphe M321, I'm going to take the color Mars by itself. And I'm going to run this all along the bottom lash line. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the weird pause, um, but I, this is just going to add a little bit of pop of color to the look. Oh, there's Gatsby. Say hello, Gatsby. And then after that, we're going to take the Morphe M432 brush, which is just a flat definer brush. And I didn't show this, but I took the darkest color, which is the Aphrodite, and I'm adding this closest to my lash line on the outer corner. So then we just have to pop some mascara onto our bottom lashes. I can't remember which mascara I'm using. I'm sorry. And then I'm going to take the new Makeup Forever pigment in number 13, which can I just say that I'm freaking obsessed with. This stuff is amazing. I'm putting it on the inner corner of my eye, and I'm also going to use it on my cheekbone. But I actually have this on my entire face in this video. This is my pop and highlight, and I'm obsessed with it. I said cheekbone earlier, but I meant brow bone, so here I am applying it to my brow bone. <laughs> So the last thing that we have to do is lips, of course. So I'm going to line my lips real quick, and I'm using the Dolce K by Kylie Cosmetics. Her lip liners are bomb. I don't care what you say about her or the Kardashians. That girl can make some dang good lip liners, okay? And for lips today, I'm going to be using a lipstick, which is different for me. But this lipstick is going to be Nori by Bite Beauty, and I'm obsessed with this color. I think it is so beautimous. Alright folks, so here is the final look. Okay guys, so this is going to be the finished look. This is going to be my go-to warm smoky eye. Every time I do a warm smoky eye, this is my routine. So, um, I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was really easy to follow along. If you guys have any questions about this look, anything that maybe I didn't say, make sure to comment um, down below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!